Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know. And today I'm doing my second video in my room by room minimalism series. Today we're gonna jump in and talk about 10 areas in your bathroom that you may have overlooked decluttering. The first area that I have for you guys to declutter are your face masks or face peels. This is something that I feel like as women we always collect, like it's often gifted to us, or they're just so cheap in the store and they're a fun like girls night activity that you just like buy a couple. But in my experience anyways, you always like over accumulate and never actually use them. And you keep them around because you think that you'll get to them, but often you don't ever really use them. So you're better off just re-gifting them or just getting rid of them. They're just cheap little packets anyways and clear up the space in your bathroom. The second area for you to declutter are your bathing products. This is another thing that just tends to accumulate in your home, collecting bath bombs and bubbles and soaps and, and oils, just all these things for bathing. Bathing. But if you're not a real avid bather, you probably aren't really using them. Like myself, I don't really bathe, so these just stay in my cupboard and I would keep them there because they're unused products, but I'm never going to use them and they're just taking up space. The third suggestion is to go through and check if you have any expired products. Things like sunscreen or any makeup products, those all have expiry dates and it'll really do you good to check those dates to make sure that you're not holding on to things that you can't actually use anyways. The fourth suggestion I have for you guys is your shower curtain. So I've mentioned this in a video like last year, I think, but I have found it super helpful to get rid of the shower curtain system where you have the fabric curtain and then the curtain liner because the liner just ends up getting soap scummy and gross and the fabric curtain is just there for aesthetic purposes really. So what I switched to is a single shower curtain that is fabric and washable. The key here is washable. I've had someone say to me that they switched to just using a fabric shower curtain and it lets all the water through and it's a big mess. You need to find one that is a solo shower curtain because it actually is made with water repelling properties so that the water doesn't just leak through it and it's washable so you don't have to be throwing out those curtain liners every couple months. Someone's waking up from their nap. I feel like this is just gonna be a reoccurring thing now where Rook interrupts my videos but that's okay we'll just hang out while I talk about all the rest of the items, okay? My fifth suggestion for you guys is to get rid of all sample products in your bathroom. The likelihood of you actually using sample products is really slim unless you're really intentional about using them because who wants to open up all those little packets when you're in the middle of doing whatever you're doing? It's much easier to just use the full-size products that you already have out. So it's just another thing that's taking up space that you're not gonna use. My sixth tip is another one that I've mentioned before and that is to get rid of any spare towels in your bathroom. In our household, we all have our own towel and it's only one. So we have two full-size adult towels and one little baby towel for Rook and that's all we need. We also have two hand towels in the bathroom and that's it. If our towels ever get dirty, we just wash them and use them. It's that simple. We don't ever really need to have a replacement on hand. We just stay on top of washing them. The next area in your bathroom that you should declutter are any decorations that aren't serving a purpose or have any sentimental yeah. value. Yeah, you got it. Things like candles. I find a lot of bathrooms have unused candles because they're just there for the aesthetic purpose, but they're never actually used. So you can get right rid of those. And then just any artwork or anything that you don't really care for, but is just there to fill the space. Just try taking it out of the room and living without it for a while. And more often than not, you'll notice that it really like opens up the room for you and you didn't need that product there anyways. Next up, head over into your shower and check your loofah or your washcloth or your wash brush, whatever it is that you use to wash your body. I feel like it's really common for people to overuse these products past their expiration. Does that make sense? Things like loofahs can contain a lot of bacteria and you're supposed to replace them I think like monthly or something. Um, so just check and see where you're at with those items and replace them if they're getting a little gross. Yeah, get a little gross. Tip number eight is to go through all your heat tools. So like your straighteners, your curling irons, your crimpers, all these things people tend to accumulate and hold on to because they don't want to have to repurchase and replace. But really analyze whether you're going to be using that styling product again. Sometimes the hairstyles that these tools can create are actually out of date and you're not going to get around to using it. And this is also a scenario where you should ask yourself, is this worth holding on to when I can replace it for 20 bucks again if I ever need it? 
is this worth holding on to if I can replace it for 20 bucks if I ever need it? Oh, buddy, you getting a little grumpy? You get a little grumpy. Next up are any half used products. You might be holding on to them. Sorry, I'm gonna talk with feet instead of talk with hands. Um, you might be holding on to them because you think you're gonna get around to using them, but the fact that you've held on to them half used for X amount of time really goes to show that you don't need it anymore and you're better off clearing out the space. Isn't that right? Clear out the space. Get rid of your crap. And lastly, I want to suggest that you guys go through all your cleaning supplies in your bathroom and go through and check if there's any items that you just aren't using anymore. I said this in my kitchen declutter video as well. Sometimes we change our preferences in cleaning products, like myself. I don't use any products that have fragrances or artificial colors in them. So any cleaning products that I had that contained those items, I just gave to family or friends that do use those products so they didn't get wasted and they're not taking up valuable real estate in my bathroom. So yeah, those are all my 10 suggestions for areas to declutter in your bathroom. I hope Rook wasn't too distracting <laughs> for you guys in this video, but life is a little different now with a little boy and sometimes you have to be able to adapt. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you got some inspiration for decluttering your home. I will link my room by room minimalism series here for you guys to check out. As the videos get uploaded, I will be adding them to this playlist. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!